Hi, I'm at the ID Tech Expo and I'm on the stand with Stephen Bagshaw from the Centre of Process Innovation or CPI from the UK. Welcome Stephen. Thanks Hi, how are you doing? You okay? The show. Very good, thanks. We've got lots of exciting things here. Tell us uh, what they are. Let's go through them. Yes, yeah, so CPI, we're based in the UK. We're a tech, what you call a technology innovation centre. What does that mean? That means that we help companies in print electronics go from research through to the commercial market. So we work across a range of different applications, but basically have the equipment and the people to help people to scale up their applications to market. So some of the things that we're working on, um, what you can see here, this is a prototype for smart packaging. So it's actually for a pharmaceutical company. So the idea behind this is that pharmaceutical companies can track and trace their pharmaceutical products across the world. Um, but by adding print electronics into it, they can tell whether their pharmaceuticals are still fit for consumption, whether they've been subject to temperature, moisture or shock, things like that. So it's basically adding electro electronics functionality to packaging. How much of that is printed? Are there any silicon chips in there? Is it a hybrid device? Yes, yeah, so it's a hybrid device. I actually have um, a label here. So as you can see, there's a printed battery. Some of the circuits are using printed techniques but there's also electrical components pick and placed on the lab. Right. So it's kind of a hybrid hybrid device to create a workable prototype. Great. So how long does it last for with the battery? So how many sensor readings can it take? So the idea behind this prototype is to look for around lifetimes of around a year. Right. But um, I can't go into too much detail about that, but um, yeah, it's about to create an application that uh, the battery lasts for the lifetime of the product. Right. So it's about finding applications where the battery is viable for that lifetime right. of the product. Right. And then tell me a bit about this lighting you have here. So this lighting that we have here, we're working with a UK based company called Design Led Products. They're actually also exhibiting at the show. So what they're trying to do is use micro LEDs and printed electronic circuitry to create uniform and flexible light. So similar to the characteristics that you see with OLED, but using the LEDs. So what you can see here is a light and tile that um, CPI have worked with Design Led Products on. It's using inkjet of copper on the reverse side and then LEDs are SMT mounted onto that and then design LED encapsulate and take it and then turn it into various different light nice. applications and they've got traction um, in the automotive market for this and other market sectors as and well. And so it's this panel that's behind each of these? Yeah, these so that okay. panel essentially goes into that right. um, but there's a lot of different applications associated yeah. with that. Right. So what we have here is a printed pressure sensor um, this application is actually associated with um, a biker's helmet. So the pressure sensor, the reason why they're interested in print electronics for that is because it can be conformable to the skull, conformable to the shape of the skull, meaning that um, after impact on, if there was to be a crash, mm. then they can quickly diagnose how um, severe the impact is. Um, so it's about, the reason why print electronics is benefits that is goes back to the flexibility benefits. Right. I noticed you had a label here which says graphene temperature sensor. Yes, so that's um, CPI also works in graphene based technologies as well. Um, that application is looking at using graphene for temperature sensing, but we're also working on a number of different areas as well involving involving graphene. I think the message is that it depends on the application really. If, right. if there's um, benefits of introducing graphene, then um, it's worthwhile doing. If there isn't, then um, sure. Depends on the application. Use the right, yeah, right you, tool yeah, for the it's technology diagnostic. Really, yeah. yeah. That's all. What are we looking at here? So that's another printed pressure se sensor. Oh, okay. Um, so it's just to show that you can um, print various different pressure sensors, um, utilizing printed techniques. So at CPI, you've got a, a lot of capability: different printing equipment, pick and place machines, conventional vacuum processing machines yeah. as well. Great. And are you seeing more interest and more end users coming to you with their ideas and concepts? Yeah, I think um, what I like about my job is that you work with large companies, but also work with small companies yeah. as well and universities as well. So it depends really on the application. I think a key driver for us is around the Internet of Things. That's where we're receiving a lot of interest um, from various different clients for different market applications. So connecting everyday objects to the Internet and the reason it seems to be a common driver that the advantage of print electronics is that you can put electronics into places which weren't previously possible using conventional electronics. And it's bringing hybrid electronics together. So, yeah, it's quite a cool place to work, I suppose. Thanks, Stephen. So, Cheers. All right, brilliant. Thanks.